When I was little, my family did what they could to keep Italian traditions alive. One of these traditions was the Chianti candle holder. When I was a kid, I loved watching our Italian candle and I wanted it to be lit for every single dinner. It was so cool to see how the wax fell down the candle and landed on the candle holder or the Chianti bottle. I loved it when we tried out different colors and we just kept adding more and more colors and candles and that wax grew so large around the candle holder. And now I'm going to carry on that Italian tradition with my very own Chianti bottle candle holder. So first things first, I need to go to the store and buy some wine. Non più dovrai far peloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girando, delle belle torno. Oh, here's the wine store. All right, here it is. Perfect. And since I'm here, I'm gonna just shop for one more wine. This is like a dream come true. Look at all this wine. This is awesome. This is so neat, Italian rosé, perfect. All right, we're here at Michael's. I'm hoping to pick up some candles. Because these are the only colors they have. So I don't have much to choose from. Some white ones, how about that? Success, I got my candles, so now I've got everything I need to start my Chianti candle. I think the next step is drinking wine. Time to open. So I finally finished drinking this one and a half liter bottle of wine. Now that the wine's all gone, it's time to make this an official candle by putting this tapered candle into the Chianti bottle. It doesn't fit. So now this means I'm going to have to become a master carver and carve a little bit of the bottom of the candle out so I can put it in this. And now it's finally ready. Done. I can't wait to light it. Now it's time to have a nice Italian dinner where I can eat and watch my candle burn. Okay, I've got my nice Italian meal of pizza. I know it's not my best move, but it's what I got. Now it's just time to light the candle. There we go. It's always important to have something underneath the candle because the wax can drip because the wax can drip off and it can get on your table or your placemat or whatever's underneath there. So you want to make sure you have something under there to catch any wax that falls off. Here's the completed Chianti candle holder. As you can see, I already got my first drip of wax, which is really exciting and I can't wait to see how the wax builds up on this candle over the next several months. I hope you enjoyed this peek into a nice Italian tradition.